everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another pick a card. Today we're going to be doing who is your future partner. So we have group number one, two, three, and four. And we're going to be seeing the star signs, the personality, and what they look like, that sort of thing. And we'll just see kind of what cards come up. So please choose your group now, take a deep breath in, and choose your group. So let's get started with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. Let's see who is your future partner that is coming towards you. Let's have a look. So we have Seahorse, can't speak today. Wow, that's a great, great start to the reading. Seahorse Spirit, Watch and Wait. Flamingo Spirit, Embrace the In-Between. Porcupine Spirit, Time for Beginner Mind. We then have the Knight of Wands. That's so good, I love that. Okay, we also have look at the bigger picture, expect powerful change, books, spirit guides, emotions, don't know if you can see that guys, hopefully you can, prosperity, and then we also have these cards as well which I'm going to look at in just a second. And we also have another tarot card which is the Queen of Swords. So I feel like for you guys you could be an Aquarius. I'm really getting that for this group. We also have Sagittarius. Excuse me. We also have basically any fire sign that's coming forward. For this person um, I am feeling that they are a fire sign. A fire sign male for a lot of you guys. Obviously if you're not looking for a male you're looking for a female it does not matter. But specifically I'm just feeling there is a fire sign male here. Um, they are basically a Leo, Sag or Aries, feeling like they are, they love books, they love kind of getting into stories, they possibly love the book Narnia, I don't know why I'm getting that, <laughs> they're just really showing me that. And I feel like for this person, they're really kind of connecting to their core, they're showing me, and when I normally see this, it normally reminds me of like a flame that you have kind of like here. I always see like a flame here and it's basically like the solar plexus. Um, it can sometimes be the sacral chakra because I do see it as quite a red flame. So it feels like they're very passionate and they're somebody who's going to always look at the bigger picture. I feel like this person is quite extroverted. They're not too extroverted. I feel like they've kind of got a good mix. They're not too extroverted and not too introverted. And I feel like this person they are very much connected to their spirit guides, okay? So this person is basically watching and waiting and embracing the in-between. This person is also telling you to watch and wait and embrace the in-between because this person is essentially mirroring you. We have the number 53, 26, 2, 1. This is like somebody who's coming in for a new start. So this is somebody you don't know, okay? For some of you guys, actually for all of you guys, this is somebody completely new. This is somebody who is going to bring a massive powerful change for you guys. There's somebody who's going to bring absolute, your world is just going to be turned upside down. <laughs> I feel like for you guys, your world is going to be turned upside down. This person is very much somebody who loves to learn. There's somebody who is very interested in self-love, self-love talks. I'm hearing like talks. So they possibly love talks about, sorry guys, I'm getting like three messages in one. <laughs> They like TED Talks and spiritual talks. They're somebody who's always wanted to learn constantly. They're just constantly sucking up loads and loads of knowledge, which is amazing. This person is so good. I'm getting the, a clock for this person. Why am I getting a clock for this person? Because they're always on time. <laughs> okay, so they're very like structural um, and they're very kind of precise about how they delegate things. Um, they're somebody who is extremely grounded but also very fiery, really, really good combination. Um, they could also be, I'm getting semi-artistic, so what it's basically showing me is that they have the key to unlock their artistic potential, and they're not outwardly artistic. So in terms of artistic knowledge, they are very artistic, but they don't do it outwardly in a way that you can easily see them as artistic. Some people, they are very, very artistic, but for some people who that you're gonna connect with, they're somebody who's artistic in a way that you probably wouldn't expect, okay? So they're probably very artistic in their knowledge, 
um, artistic in their sport. Like, they like to are very. Are they very active? They like sports. I'm not saying they're very sporty in terms of they love football. They're like religious about football. And there's somebody who is just very active. They're kind of on the go all the time, but they're very creative about how they express this, themselves. So they're never afraid to express themselves. Pretty much, this person's really really great. Um, there's somebody who's going to bring a lot of prosperity into your life. So look out for this green crystal. This is green garnet. Um, also green adventuring and jade so somebody who's going to bring a massive new opportunities to you and somebody who's going to open up your heart chakra like fully they're gonna i'm just hit i'm getting like a click and i'm getting like an opening you know like in like national treasure or like i don't know indiana jones where it's like they put like a gem in the door like this massive door and it if they put it in and it clicks and, and everything like opens and all, and also getting the door in um harry potter with all the snakes i don't i think they put the wands to the door and then all the snakes unlock and there's like locking those locks are all unlocking above the door so it's almost like once this person comes in things are just going to be unlocked and it's going to be in a way that you have never felt before okay i'm also getting the element of fun <laughs> i'm also getting the element of um alice in wonderland and i don't know if any of you guys have seen alice in wonderland and i cannot remember which one it is there's been so many different versions of it but i'm getting like hedges and they're like very mystical and they're cut in a way that's very mystical magical so there's like um images of a person cut out of this hedge and there's like um <clears throat> like a ballerina and for some reason it, it's, that's just very connected to this person i don't know why maybe they're a hedge trimmer <laughs> i don't know <laughs> maybe they're a gardener maybe they are a tree surgeon but there's somebody i'm getting like this they just like to kind of cut loose ends <laughs> so somebody who will sort things out trim your bush <laughs> they'll trim your bush <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying guys maybe they will but that's kind of gross but you know if you're into that i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna move on from that from that quote because i just yeah let's move on okay guys <laughs> yes yeah, so they'll basically straighten things out for you guys i feel like they're they're very good at finances as well so if you're struggling with your finances they'll probably help you with that they'll probably help you to figure out where things go very very good with insurance money um they, i'm getting sagittarius we had that before sagittarius i'm getting like sergeant so they may be a sergeant or they may used to be her sergeant um there's somebody who's very connected with their emotions their emotions may get out of control sometimes in terms of like how they connect with them um i'm feeling because they are more earthy and fiery their emotions they have they have trouble opening their emotions they have trouble kind of connecting with their emotions and they have trouble kind of figuring out how to deal with them okay so maybe this person you may be a water sign as well um or somebody who's more emotional on the emotional side so you may actually help this person to unlock kind of their emotional potential i feel like a lot of the time especially being male obviously this is genderless but um in terms they just show me in terms of a male or a masculine energy they have a tendency or these types of people who are more masculine have a harder time um sensing how they really feel and they're almost i'm i'm seeing like a guy and i'll, I'll see i'll say this is gender neutral but this is going to be some of you guys who are particularly looking for a, a male um they're in like a group of friends and they're basically being picked on and almost like verbally bullied because they're feeling emotions for something and this person is trying to move away from that certain friendship group and they're trying to move away um in and move away and move forward into a sort of more authentic spiritual group because they have been bashed for how possibly um how spiritual they are and things like that and i feel like this could even be like a young sort of like childhood trauma that has kind of come up so this person is trying to deal with their emotions as much as they can but they're trying to remove any toxicity from their life okay so that is that this part is there anything else you want me to say so you could always be dealing with an air sign as well um because we have the queen of swords you may also be different from this person you may always almost be like i'm getting two peas in a pod but i'm also getting 50 50 so you could be the 50 and they could be the 50 and then you come together as a whole basically you have quite a lot of different personality quite a lot of different um emotions and interest than this person but you come together very well so you're very different but you go together really well 
I like this. This feels really good. It's like the key to the lock. I'm getting. Okay, so we have follow your dreams, moving forward fearlessly. We have Kunzite, children, third eye chakra. I knew I was going to get this card. I knew I was going to get this card. Spiritual partnership. Boom. Amazing. And love heals fear. The power of your love can help bullies and angry people be less afraid. Exactly. That's exactly what I was talking about. This person may have been bullied. They may have been, um, I'm getting like excrete. They may have been, um, they're, their their niceness may have been pulled out of them because they are very extroverted or part of them is very extroverted so they're almost putting themselves out there and therefore they get picked on a lot because they're they're shown a lot but they have basically just been around the wrong people or they've been in bad situations that have helped them learn and experience life in a different way but it's been it's been quite rough i'm getting very raw I'm getting very spiky it's been quite a spiky life for them or they have been through spiky kind of experiences that have caused them to kind of have their guard up but i don't feel like it's going to be an issue when you meet this person okay um this person definitely will want children with you if you want children or you two could share your children that you already have if you're coming from a, a partnership who uh you've already had children with um this person's going to help you follow your dream which is so cute and they're almost going to be a dream come true i feel like and 27 and 7 plus 2 is 9 so they're going to be somebody who is um going to help you complete a cycle and they're going to help you create a new cycle and with spiritual partnership can you guys tell me what the number nine means because i feel like i'm getting i'm getting um near to completion and i'm also getting spirituality but i feel like there's some other meaning for it and i think one of you guys would know what it is um, so I have spiritual partnership as well. Also, if you're connected with the colour orange or um, purple, this is a definite group for you because these colours are really coming through for me. Um, yeah, I feel like this person's great. I love this person. Um, in terms of when you meet this person, not for all of you, but for some of you who are have cleared out a lot of your stuff, <laughs> a lot of your shadows, I feel like this person will come in within the next three to six months. Um, maybe even a year but to keep a note keep in mind those timings but it doesn't have to be those timings that this is just a very general reading so if it doesn't apply to you then maybe this isn't the right group for you or maybe you're going to meet this person later on you just don't know um so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you'd like to get a private reading with me all my information is down below it was a pleasure reading for you and i'll speak to you very soon Bye! Hello group number two, let's get started with your reading and let's see who is your future partner. Okay, so let's go. We have Badger Spirit, be fearless and bold. Amazing, I love this card. We also have Canary Spirit, sing your own song. We have Stag Spirit, take the lead. This card has come out in reverse in the last reading as well, which is so funny. So I'm also getting maybe they're kind of like in between taking the lead and kind of stepping back. We also have it's time to take action oh there we go then <laughs> that's exactly what we're saying that's crazy and we also have speaker amazing i love that inspiration this card is so pretty hopefully you guys can see that we also have you are gifted you are very intelligent and talented love that who doesn't want a card like that that's so pretty we also have abundance Tourmaline, Smudging, Root Chakra. We also have Romantic Partner. Beautiful. Love that. Romantic Partner. And then from the Tarot, we have the Two of Swords. And we have the Devil. Exactly. That Two of Swords is really standing out to me. I think because we had Take the Lead. And it's basically this person is essentially waiting to take the lead in a situation. Um, they may be kind of... I'm also hearing stepping up into a role of being a partner and, and being a parent. So for some of you guys, you may not may want children, um, but you're kind of worried about having children, or you're worried you're not going to have children, or some of you guys are worried that you are not going to be good in a partnership. And I'm going to let you know, guys, you're going to be amazing, and your worries are being heard, and it's going to be fine, okay? Um, for some of you guys, this person is struggling to take the lead right now in their life, but they're also learning to take the lead, okay? So they're basically in an in-between stage where they are stepping up and they're learning to kind of bring about what they actually want to learn, okay? So 
essentially they have possibly been behind closed doors essentially possibly doing a job that they don't really enjoy i'm getting nine to five very structured so it's very academic i feel like they want to do something that's much more freeing and this that's probably where you're going to meet this person is when they the when they click into that new new um start that's when you're going to meet them you're probably going to be doing the same normally these readings are very much connected to the person that i'm reading for as well so in terms of like you guys are mirroring each other so some people will comment and say oh my partnership my partner is like me that's a really good sign because that means that this is going to be really suited for you and this person is going to be mirroring what your what your energy is at the moment which is amazing so basically we have number four and number 12 so four and three so you guys this person is going to be essentially as i say starting a new cycle so and starting to take the lead so they're learning to be fierce and bold and to be their own authentic self previously they possibly could have struggled with being their authentic self they could have worried what other people think they may not have wanted to kind of step into that role there's definitely a role that they're stepping into i don't know what it is and it may be it may be a speaker <laughs> Uh, it may be somebody who has extreme intellect in terms of a certain knowledge and I'm, I'm getting um i'm getting someone like dr dr joe dispenza i'm getting somebody who talks about aliens i'm getting somebody who talks about the world um somebody who could even be a preacher in a church i don't know what they're actually called but there's somebody who t stands up and talks like kind of very enthusiastically about a certain topic um they're going to be seen they're going to be seen and they're scared about it but they want to do it my arms are really tingling they could also be an actress or an actor um a singer songwriter what does that mean they're telling me delusion delusionist illusionist maybe a magician but i'm getting delusion i'm not sure what that's about if you guys know what i'm talking about then you know what i'm talking about okay but they oh okay right so they may have a they may be what's the word they may feel like they have been controlled for a long time and they may feel like they've been like some sort of mirage or delusion sort of thing uh, i don't know if that's making sense but this is basically what i'm getting <laughs> um and they learn to grow and stand on their own two feet not in the sense that they're not independent but they're, they're learning to be a different a different they're learning to be their whole authentic self i'm getting two hearts um, so maybe they like Doctor Who, because the Doctor and Doctor Who, um, if you guys know what that TV show is, the Doctor has two hearts. I'm also getting like two people coming together and it's almost like you have two hearts, like beating as one. <laughs> I don't know, but that's what I'm feeling. So for you guys, this is definitely somebody who needs to take action on their new start, okay? There's somebody who, as I say, is very gifted, they are very enthusiastic about their life. Um, and for you guys, this this person is learning to release old negative cycles okay so that could be also you as well and they're so cute as a bird drinking from the bird bath it's adorable um and they're basically going to reap the rewards of what they're learning and they're learning new things as well as they go along or as we all are and they're learning to step up into their power and believe in what they're selling and what they're like showing the world like they 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 believe they learn to believe in themselves because they have a lot of knowledge they're just trying to learn how to kind of give it out and trying to sh how to show people they're thinking okay i've got this knowledge how do i show people okay um i feel like the color pink is very prominent as well the heart chakra i'm feeling for this and 88 as well so that could be a significant colour, a significant number. I'm getting three and I'm getting the song Three is a Magic Number. I've never heard that song before, but I've heard it like the title. So that sounds very accurate. So this person is also going to be somebody who is going to create a lot of inspiration for a lot of people. So they may kind of be prepping themselves and the universe is prepping this person to get started with their career. OK, so is there anything else? <laughs> is there anything else I need to say? Also, sorry if the orientation of the, the frame changed. Um, I had to start my camera up again because it stopped recording. Okay, there's definitely somebody who needs to take action. And there could be a psychic, there could be a tarot reader, there could be... They're just very gifted in a certain area. And it says, with the speaker, it says, your life purpose involves your skills of oration. They could even be like an MP or something, but I'm getting more of like a spiritual person, Okay. So I'm getting a Capricorn, I'm getting an air sign, we've got a fire sign here of Aries. Um, I'm going to shuffle some cards. Right, let's see. 
what other star sign this person has. Could even be a Scorpio as well. Aquarius. Why did it say an air sign? So that, that covers Aquarius, Libra and... Um, Aquarius, Libra and Gemini. Right, we have Taurus, Aries, Sagittarius. And we also have Libra. And then from the bottom of the deck, we have Aquarius, <laughs> which is so cool. So it could be any of those signs, it doesn't have to be guys. So don't, please don't um, pay too much attention to the signs. It's just an extra clarification if you need it, okay? So thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe. If this video resonated, um let me know obviously you don't have to but if you would like to let me know that'd be great uh if it didn't then you can just let it fly or choose another group if you'd like to get a private reading with me all my information is down below um i offer lots of different options and um, my prices have changed to um to kind of combat the uh, paypal fees so uh my prices have gone up slightly so thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon Hi. Hello group number three, let's get started with your reading. So let's have a look and see who your future partner is. We have Chameleon, <clears throat> Chameleon Spirit, Act As If. We have Brown Bear Spirit, Take Time Out. Cow Spirit, The Miracles Are Endless. Bee Spirit, Sweet Results Await. Emotions are running high, supermoon. Conclusions are within reach. We also have flowers. We also have support. And then from the tarot, we have five of wands and the seven of cups in reverse. So I'm going to look at the rest of those cards in just a moment. I want to have a look at these cards first and let's see what we have. So, for you guys, I'm feeling like this person is coming in very quickly, okay? this There is conclusions in terms of your love life. You may have been messed around quite a lot and you may have been told that you're not good enough, you're too spiritual, you're too sensitive, you're too emotional, you're too just... Anything somebody can pick up on, they will pick up on you. And there's nothing bad, okay guys? You guys are being very loyal to what you love. You're being very loyal to who you are. And this time in your life, I feel like you're basically taking time out. So you may be kind of be, have been single for quite a while. Um, and essentially you're wondering, hey, why am I being single for quite a long time? Like, what does this mean? It just means that you need to take time out, okay? It just means that you need to take some time out for yourself. But it doesn't mean this person is coming because they are coming, okay? It means you need to act. Um... You need to act as yourself, okay? You need to not pretend to be a different person because even if you have been told you're too sensitive, too emotional, this person coming in will appreciate you for who you are and they'll love you for who you are. And all these battles that you've been through have, are going to be worth it, okay, guys? Um, obviously, I'm not saying that you're meant to have them, but there's certain experiences that you have been going through and you're going to be supported. Your life purpose fully supports you. This person has also been through the exact same thing as what I just said. They've also been through an extremely hard time. They're going to be very, very similar to you. Okay, guys? Um, so as I have said for the other groups that if um, this person is a lot like you, then that is a really good sign because it means that you're going to be connected with this person really, really well. Okay? Um, this person is going to be very, very sweet. They're very, very lovely. Very high energy. Very beautiful. Like their energy is very soft and light. So I'm, I'm getting like Pisces energy. Very, very soft. Spiritual, delicate. Oh, so it's just such a lovely energy. Um, so we have emotions are running high. What does this, what does this mean? Right, so when this person comes in, your emotions are going to be sky rocketing, which is going to be amazing. Okay, for some of you guys, you may be a little bit worried because you're thinking this person's out of my league. Out of my league. Um, this person's too attractive for me. I'm getting those sort of images. Guys, that is not true, okay? This person's meant to be with you. And also, for some of you guys, you're going to be like, wow, this person's really freaking hot. <laughs> um, you're going to be like, whoa, <laughs> what the hell? And then that's going to be the exact same way that they're going to feel as well. They're going to be like, holy shit, this person's really attractive. Um, and also, with flowers, I feel like you may meet this person in a florist. You may meet this person when you're holding flowers, I'm going to give flowers to somebody like a family member or a friend. Um, 
I'm also getting you maybe in a field of flowers when you meet this person or you're going to be um this person may have you you or this person may have a flower name um I'm also getting like they own a company that has a flower name or like flowers which can be very very significant in your relationship I'm getting lilies um lotus um I'm getting a name I have no idea what this is I have no idea what this is I don't want to say it unless it means something weird in like a different language or something I'm getting lacrolite and I have no idea what that means hopefully it means something good <laughs> um there is like an L. L is very significant in terms of like names, countries. Um, I'm getting Lilith as well. And Lilith is all about the uh, sexual part and the creative part of your chart. So this person is going to be very, very sexual, very, very intense. I love this. I love this so much. Okay, so we have compassion. Beautiful. So this person's going to have a lot of compassion for you. They're going to have a lot of compassion for your lifestyle in terms of like you both can be very compatible as well exercise run walk swim or otherwise move your body this will give you more energy and happiness so if you're feeling stagnant move your body that's going to be really really good and this and also this person is going to be very um fit and healthy as well when you meet this person personal growth you guys have been for a lot of personal growth as well as this other person this is going to be really really um intense you guys i absolutely love it and we also have two plus nine is 11 which is number two which is partnership balance all that jazz we also have number seven as well for you guys we have blue lace i get communication throat chakra i love this card anything blue i'm just fully on it because i'm i have uh scorpio sun cancer and moon and scorpio mercury so i'm full on watery <laughs> so anything blue i'm just like oh pretty <laughs> um so this person is definitely going to be really really good at communicating with you another blue card stand your ground <clears throat> so it can be really good at standing your ground and also since you stood your ground with other people who have possibly treated you really badly this is when this person is going to come in because the more you stand your ground the more this person is going to be attracted to you okay we also have awakening your true self and i say this person is going to awaken your true self they're going to appreciate for you for who you are and they're going to love you for who you are okay so let's have a look at their star sign this person can be really good at communication though you guys are not going to be unhappy with communication with this person they're going to be so compassionate so lovely so easy to talk to we have capricorn so definitely getting a water sign here we have aries we have virgo libra and aquarius i'm also feeling pisces definitely so pisces and scorpio are really coming in here possibly cancerian but i'm really feeling pisces in this uh reading as well so i feel like with personal growth and emotions are running high i love this this feels so good like my heart chakra just went ah oh, and it just opened really big this is basically showing me that because you've gone through such a high personal like a strong intense deep personal growth that you guys are going to be really really kind of you're going to get back what you have given out so you've given so much effort to your personal growth that you're going to get all these emotions coming at you which is amazing it's going to be so happy so amazing you're almost going to be given a present the present is this person with all these emotions that are just out there and they're really kind of like open they're going to be somebody who's fully open for you and they're going to be absolutely amazing i love this i'm also getting the song lollipop by mika so possibly look up the lyrics of that um yeah so thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to stand your ground and communicate fully and know that your personal growth is definitely worth it and you are going to be in communication with this person soon okay so i'm also getting the sun as well so for some of you guys definitely a leo here as well and also just got 11 11 on the clock too so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you like this video um please don't forget to uh, let me know down below if you didn't let it fly or choose another group and if you'd like to get a personal reading with me all my information is down below and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number four let's get started with your reading so we have rhino spirit overcome any obstacles i was i feel like laughing at this card i think because this person might be quite hard-headed <laughs> but it's really cute it's really cute dear spirit bring a gentle touch um they're quite stubborn but i don't know why i'm laughing i just think it's just really cute because i don't need to be like that <laughs> it's like this person has always been quite hard-headed but when you meet them they're going to be almost still like that but after you um 
kind of are experiencing them and you go through this relationship they're gonna like loosen off their hard shell which is amazing i love that so much wombat spirit be at home we also have swan spirit time for a deep dive we then have don't let your pride get in the way full moon in leo talk to your angels nutrition also um guys i'm going to show you the cards as i go along so just to get through the first part we're just going to lay the cards out so we have nature cycles pets self-love and we also have tiger's eye i'm going to look at these rest of these cards in just a second and then for the tarot we have the three of cups and the seven of wands in reverse so literally as i was just saying this person has gone through a lot and they're going to be quite hard-headed when you meet them okay i'm getting definite taurus vibes taurus um earth and fire for this group um they're gonna be somebody who loves animals like they love animals they love animals so much you're possibly going to meet them through animals so you could be like walking your dog and then you meet them you could be i don't know i'm getting feeding your fish and you meet them i don't I have no idea i'm getting the most weirdest scenarios in my head like a scenario of you're feeding your fish and you order an Amazon parcel and the Amazon parcel comes while you're feeding your fish and then you run up to this person to open the door to get your parcel and they're like the love of your life like <laughs> I'm getting really weird funny interesting stories from this group I love this group I think you guys are very interesting people <laughs> in terms of like you're very um you've got so many different elements to your personality you're very creative I love this group so for this for this group I feel like this person has is learned to overcome a lot of obstacles and literally as i said i literally didn't realize we had these two cards together that we have bring a gentle touch so what it's showing me is you guys is this person is going to learn to bring a gentle touch towards their like hard shell and you guys are going to help this person go through that as well okay so we also have self-love which is showing me this person is learning to self-love and to learn to love themselves and same for you guys as well and as i say this person may be hard-headed and they learn not to have their pride get in the way they may be a leo so this person in terms of their um guidance in terms of their career and where they're going in life this person needs to talk to their angels or you, you need to talk to your angels in terms of meeting this person okay for some of you guys i feel like it would really help you if you haven't already to write down that your partner so write down everything that you want in the future partner um looks personality and don't <clears throat> excuse me don't be kind of stingy with what you want like say exactly what you want but obviously if it's like somebody who you know has an extremely high paying job but they don't work like that's kind of like no you can't <laughs> that that doesn't make any sense so it's something you've got to be like quite practical but in a sense that go kind of like more over your expectations it'll probably because if you do that you're going to aim for something that you really really want and then you're not going to be going towards somebody that maybe you could have actually really really you're going to go for, you need to go for something you really really want as well um i feel like this person also looks after their health their physical health and they're really good with nutrition and food so they could possibly be a cook um somebody who uh is very good with the health they possibly um give health benefits in some way they could be part of like a health service um so somebody who gives out kind of natural remedies works in a natural remedy shop works with batch flower remedies homeopathic remedies maybe an osteopath reiki practitioner that sort of thing okay okay sorry guys if my um background has changed slightly i had to change my battery so it may be a little bit wonky so basically this person is um going to be a homebody there's somebody who loves being at home there's somebody who loves to kind of um be in their own safe sanctuary they gave me somebody who um when you meet them they're going to be going into a very deep dive with you okay um so as i was saying this person loves to be at home and they're going to have a deep dive with you so you're going to have a very very deep relationship with this person okay they're going to be somebody who is very very touristy i'm getting very touristy i know i already said that but i'm getting very tourist vibes from this group um there's somebody who loves being at home loves to create a family vibe so you're definitely gonna have be having a family with this person as i say there's somebody who loves animals and they probably have quite a few pets um they probably love horses um and things like that they're gonna be somebody who will have a really really good time with them okay you may meet them at work um you may in the in like a, a group setting 
with friends and, or family that sort of thing you may meet them even even at a family gathering i'm getting some of you guys you may even meet this person around christmas time possibly at a christmas party or something like that i'm getting a co-worker party so i'll work a work event um so this person i'm guessing that they may like harry potter because there's like a tiny little deer and it reminds me of the patronus that you can get in harry potter so this person may like harry potter but also this person may like um the stag as an animal that may be their spirit animal um also this person is going to be part of your the cycle that you're in as well so essentially that you're starting a new cycle and therefore this person is going to be coming in and once you end an old cycle this person is going to be coming in okay and there's somebody i uh, say who really really loves animals they connect deeply with animals and um and, the, and they possibly have quite a few spirit animals as well. Or like they may have, know who their spirit animal is. So I'm going to see who we are connecting to in terms of the zodiac sign. I already have said some zodiac signs. But obviously if this doesn't resonate then it doesn't have to. That's totally fine. We have Aries. Aries has popped up I feel like for every single group. So that's crazy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right, we have quite a few. We have Aquarius. Aquarius has popped up a lot today as well. We have Libra. We have Scorpio, Cancerian, Taurus, and Sagittarius. Can you see that, guys? I think you see that. Anyway. And we also have Sagittarius. Okay. So thank you so much for watching guys, if this resonated please give it a big old thumbs up, comment down below. If it did resonate then just let it fly or choose another group. As I always say, if this person sounds like you, then that's a good sign. <laughs> that's a really good sign. Oh my god guys, I literally just finished your group and I forgot to include the two other cards. I don't know what I'm doing today. Mercury retrograde can bugger off, okay? Right. <laughs> Okay, so these two cards for you, group number four, we have be honest with yourself and happily ever after. So this is basically showing me that the more that you are yourself, the more you're going to have your happily ever after, okay? So this is gonna be a person who's going to create a really good life with you. They're gonna be somebody who you've been wishing for for a long time. They're gonna be, they're gonna exceed your expectations, okay? So this is why I say, I don't know if I mentioned it in this group or another group, to write down who you want your future partner to be and to not worry about the sort of certain aspect that you think, oh, I'm not going to achieve that or I'm not going to kind of manifest that. Basically, you will, guys. And basically, to write down things that you really, really want and to not think that you can't achieve them because you can, okay? So basically, this person is going to, as I say, create a really, really lovely life with you. They're going to be very honest with you. They're going to be a very honest person as well. So they're going to be somebody who's extremely trustworthy loyal um adventurous and getting ecstatic as well and extravagant so this feels really really good guys and the more you work on your solar plexus the better as well the more confident you feel the more confident you are the more you're going to attract this person as well not to say that you have to have, don't have to be super super confident as well guys and obviously if you're quite a shy person or you're quite introverted then that's totally fine you're still going to attract this person either way some of you guys who are younger, I thought like you're going to meet this person in school as well. So if you are in school, college, university, or even on a new course, you're probably going to meet this person there as well, okay? So thank you so much for watching. Uh, sorry for the weird delay in these two cards, but thank you so much for watching. And I'll speak to you very soon, group four. Bye!